What's up YouTube and welcome back to Top Drives, ladies and gentlemen, it's time finally for the Austin 90s challenge. So, um, I was promising it so many times, I know, and then the update came out of nowhere. First the RQ changes came out of nowhere, then the update came out of nowhere. And now we're finally here, I hope it will still help you a little bit. I must say it wasn't so difficult, 90s are really... Yeah, I'm good with the 90s. I'm definitely good with the 90s. So we got a lot of rain here. City streets small, city streets small. Um, just a little uh, reminder, don't forget we had some changes. I don't know if there are some 90s cars which have been changed in this direction. But um, we have some changes regarding ground clearance. For example, um, yeah, you're not going to use the Audis. But the Audis got changed. Um, the R6 Avant and so they are on, have a ground clearance now of low of low ladies and gentlemen that made that actually makes my s8 plus the king right now R because the s8 plus goes below three seconds now and has a ground clearance of medium very happy that i have it so however yeah we got a little bit of rain sanitize you can use if you don't have sanitize try at least to come with a four-wheel drive uh, no slicks obviously just um, in case if you're new to this game slicks and rain <laughs> that couldn't be any worse combination uh, we're going through it and yeah and you see i'm using my my new cadillac the elr really happy with that car good super rare really good super rare especially for rain and two ds cars so thinking okay it should be good 136 going through it 5 10 to 50 one more to go and the first five rounds are done ladies and gentlemen by the way to people who are new maybe you have just installed top drives and you see this weekly challenge and maybe you was you saw last week's challenge and the last three challenges or whatever and now you see like we're getting a common car why do we get a common car and so and so i did a video on this one and i will link it right now you can see it there on the top left right corner and those austin cars they are really really important and i will yeah give you the explanation in that video there if you don't know why you should get that austin and why you should keep it as well so however round six now we got a tokyo overpass uh, those the tokyo off ramp and the tokyo overpass are really interesting ones um because um even though you think it's really about only zero to 60 nah 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 it's not only about top speed uh this little now uh, by the way that was my information that the update is there where i was like what i remember playing this i thought like what is going on here however and the Tokyo overpass it's really important as well to have not to not lack too much handling you don't need something like you don't need 90 handling or something like this but um just 71 handling can be tricky can definitely be tricky especially when it's rain and so um because you have this little turn there you see like you have this longer turn you yeah you want you don't want to lack too much of handling just saying just saying Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but the rest is actually not too difficult. For 60 and 50, getting in my extra points. Okay. good one more to go and seven and a half k in cash i don't mind this don't even need to figure out that much just the same bam bam okay 365 to zero beautiful next 10 rounds are done next we can get an aluminium pack however um there are a few changes um if you didn't update yet your aluminium pack obviously will not include any of the Volkswagen 
any of the roof cars. If you update it already, you can get good cars as well. So there's a big difference there. Just saying, just saying in case of the, you were wondering why you didn't get anything. So yeah, we we definitely dropped the rain, but we got a little bit of we got a little bit of dirt going on there. Slalom test dirt. Not the easiest combination always. And yeah, you need three 1990s cars, so hope you're not lacking any of those. Because that Austin car is important. Let's see what we get out of this one. And now you need five 1990s cars. And yeah, we, we got this interesting challenge with the 0 to 150. Um, again, if you're kind of new to top drives, if you have a top speed of 151 or 152 or whatever, and you get disqualified. The reason is the track for the one from the for the zero to one hundred fifty is only as long as it's not in infinite. It's finite. So there 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 is a way that you actually could get disqualified if you didn't reach one hundred fifty miles per hour at the moment you actually reach the finish line. So make sure that you actually got cars which have a good mid range. Mid range is definitely what you're looking forward to here. The GT1 Roka has amazing mid-range, and that's why I'm really lucky to have two of those babies. And yeah, by the way, I did update in the meanwhile, and that's why you see now there's a big difference now in the price table. I don't know how I like it, if I do like it or not like it, but check this out. Wait, once we win, bam, destroy that 740i. And now you see on the price table, that we actually have common cars now as well. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I actually enjoyed having my uh, fair share of rare and uncommon cars. I don't know who asked for getting common cars. If you want to get common cars, all you, can, all you need to do is just do the daily event every day and get your steel and plastic package. That's my, that's my opinion on that one. I don't know what you think about it. Ah, he's definitely, look at that, on 0 250 and on quarter mile, he's trying. But he got no chance, no chance. Look at that, let's see. So, still going, it was 240 points. Wow. And Ceramic Pack, you are mine. Let's see if we have any luck. If we're getting any luck regarding any new cars. Uh, yeah, there's one. There's another. No. Mm-mm. Ah, boring. Very boring. 15, I hate when you get 15 IQ out of a ceramic pack. So, here we go again. Five times. 90s cars. We got, a, again, a one mile drag. We got two fast circuits. We got a little bit of rain. And one fast circuit is a rolling start. So, the 0 to 60 time on a rolling start is not that important. It's more important to have a good mid range. And yeah, we got a twisty circuit as well with rain and a GeForce test. Hmm. 
not very really difficult. I think I will finish this as well. Then we have some TVRs coming in. Mazda Cosmo on Twisty Circuit, but I think my Four Drive Stenitize should win. I don't know how I would feel against the Max Dot Cosmo though. That could be more tricky. Pontiac, GeForce test. Hmm. And the BMW we got there. Ah, that's not easy. Uh, that's not difficult, I mean. Gonna finish that easily. Just thinking. First circuit, I wanna make sure I win this. one but even without I would have won so there we go that means that awesome ambassador is ours let's see what we got still let's make sure we add this Austin car just want to make sure that I'm not selling it okay you go you stay the BMW is a new car we keep the common ones get rid of the rest and let's see how many awesome rides we have now Five. Five so far. So we're ready. We're definitely ready for the big challenge later on. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you finished it. And how many Austin cars do you have already? I'm looking forward for the big weekend challenge then with the Austin car. This is always a good one. Hopefully a good chance to get one of the new cars. Wish you a wonderful day. That was a Cash Mobile Gamer and I'm out.